Hey everybody, I want to go over a mixed ANOVA, sometimes referred to as a split plot analysis of variance. And we're going to use JASP to do this. So uh, um, in doing this, I, I want to uh, um, demonstrate uh, some nuances uh, to this analysis. So I'm going to share my screen here with you. And uh, here we can see a JASP data set. This looks at two different pulse rates, before and after exercise. And then we have several variables like sex, smoking, age. Um, obviously, this is a continuous variable, so we won't be using that for this analysis. But let's you know, just kind of go over some, some, some elements here that I think um, would be helpful. So as a mixed ANOVA, this is uh, differences across time over uh, 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 between subjects effect, like smoking. Do you smoke or do you not smoke? And then does that, you know, so are there group differences between smokers and non-smokers across change in pulse rate? So let's go to repeated measures ANOVA, and we're gonna call this uh, pulse change. And I'm gonna say uh, pre-exercise. We'll call it that, and then I'll click here, and I'm going to call this post exercise. And you can see, you know, once again that uh, these values are here, and I'll put pre here and post here, and um, then I'm going to take whether or not you smoke, and I'm going to put that in my between subjects effect. So a couple things to notice here. Um, one is uh, that there's not a statistically significant difference. I'm sorry, uh, one thing to notice is that there's not a statistically significant interaction, excuse me. So there's no significant interaction here uh, between the group smoking and non smoking and change in pulse. There is a significant difference in changing in pulse. And so what does this mean? Well, let's take a look here. Um, first of all, before we get excited about the results, Let's check our some assumptions here. Let's check our, we don't really need to worry about this vericity test because we only have two group, two, two time periods. And so it's gonna be perfect. Um, we do need to look at the homogeneity of variance assumption um, and uh, test for equality of variances. And uh, we do notice that um, there is some uh, concern here uh, uh, at pulse one and we'll have to figure out what's happening there. Um, if we go to additional options, um, we can ask for descriptive statistics and estimates of effect size. And uh, I like to use that partial eta squared there. And uh, um, let's just see what we have here so far. So um, notice that there's a, a huge difference in uh, uh, pulse change. And uh, that, that's contributing quite a bit of the variance to the model. Um, there was no significant interaction. Let's plot that. We can put uh, smoking as separate lines and pre and post here. And uh, we can actually look and see that there's no significant interaction. What's happening is as smokers um, here uh, and non-smokers have similar pulse rates and then uh, only the, uh, 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 the, the those who smoke just went a little bit higher than the non-smokers, not, not a lot. Um, so, uh, you know, um, and, and what's happening with our, 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 our variability here? Well, people who smoke at pre-exercise have a lot more variability in terms of their pulse rate. In other words, some people are more affected by smoking than other people. Um, and so that's, uh, you know, that there's a within group difference. Um, and then look at the variability for folks who, 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 who smoke after exercise, a lot of variability. Once again, smoking hurts some people and hurts some people a lot more than others. So, um, you know, there's obviously other factors here, you know, maybe genetic factors. So, um, you know, and so in evaluating this, um, I want to be cautious because of this uh, homogeneity of variance assumption 
here. Um, you know, it's uh, it's a little tenuous. Um, and, you know, but what I would likely say is there's no group differences. There's no group differences here, not, no, no significant group differences, but there is, but, but does appear to be a, a difference in change over time with a fairly large effect size. Now, um, in terms of moving forward, uh, I want to show you something else here. So uh, kind of a, 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 a a different way to approach this. So um, let's say I want to create a new variable. And I'm going to call this variable pulse change. And I'm going to make a scale variable and I'm just going to create the column here. And uh, it's going to ask me what is pulse change? And pulse changes is going to be pulse 2 minus pulse 1. And I'm going to say compute column. So what I did is I subtracted 126 from 62 and I got 64. 154 minus 78 and I got 76. And now I'm going to run a one-way ANOVA. My dependent variable is pulse change. My independent variable is smoking. And let's look at my uh, eta squared. Descriptive statistics, estimates of effect size. Notice here that my uh, when you run a one-way ANOVA, your eta squared and partial eta squared are the same. That I've accounted for 8.7% of the variance in the model. Notice that there's no significant difference in change in smoking. Also, notice that this value, 3.623, P equals 0.065 is the exact same value as my interaction term. My partial eta squared, p value, and f value. This is all the same, all right? And so maybe a better way to evaluate uh, a mixed ANOVA is to focus on that interaction term that that's really giving you a, a better result. And, and uh, um, you know, and moreover, when I uh, look at my model assumption here, um, I can look at my homogeneity test and I can see, oh, I do meet that homogeneity of variance assumption. And so it's a little simpler, it's uh, easier to analyze and uh, I, I have less to worry about now. And so uh, notice that that interaction term really does with the partial eta squared, really does provide you a, a better alternative uh, in terms of evaluating the mixed ANOVA than say uh, running, uh, uh, you know, running uh, this as uh, looking at uh, between, uh, within subjects effects and then uh, between subjects effects uh, as we did down here. So um, that's a little tutorial. And so how I would focus on, 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 on this result is I would focus on saying that there were no significant differences uh, between groups across change, you know, across uh, uh, pre and po pre, pre exercise and pulse uh, and post exercise pulse rates, that there were no differences between groups and uh, uh, F of 138 equals 3.62, P equals 0 0.065, accounting for 8.7% of the variance in the model. Uh, you could say that's a moderate effect, and this is, you know, you, you might suggest that maybe with a larger sample size, you would have a significant difference uh, because the uh, analysis is a little underpowered, but, uh, uh, you know, that, that's to be seen. So I uh, hope this tutorial was helpful to you, and uh, Email me if you have questions.